Hi! In this episode of Toys Bag Zen, I'm going to be showing you a little bit of a toy show that I went to. I was a vendor at this toy show. You can see it's a pretty big space that we have here to fill with all the vendors. This is a this is usually a trading card show, but I still sell toys at it, and I usually do quite well. You can see I've got some die casts, some action figures, Star Wars, vintage Star Wars, vintage Transformers, G.I. Joe, more G.I. Joe figures, and some vintage uh, Star Wars there in the background. So this show you're seeing here, it's at least two hours in, and it's pretty quiet. There's not a lot of people at this show. This vendor here, I buy from him quite often, and he had some really cool stuff. And I managed to pick some of it up, so stick around. I'll talk a little bit more about what I sold and uh, my experience. All right, I'm back from the toy show, and let's just see what I picked up. I did get some mask items, because of the money I was making at the show, I decided that I could take that money and put it towards something fun. It was more of a, a day to just get out, talk to some vendors, other toy uh, collectors, and just have a good time, sell some stuff, and uh, also buy some stuff too. So I managed to do some trading, and I managed to take some money that I made from my show after all of my expenses, and uh, buy some cool toys that I really wanted. And this is one of those things. This is from the third series of the Mask Vehicles and Figures. This is Razorback. It was uh, released in 1987, and here we have Brad Turner. He's got the Eclipse mask, and uh, he's in okay shape. His figure is in good shape, but his mask has got a lot of paint wear on it. But uh, we take his hat off here. You can see him with his cool glasses. So that's what he looks like. Seven points of articulation, like usual. And uh, here is the mask that he has. It's the long version of the mask. And it's a little sticky. I'm going to probably have to clean these figures. The vehicles are pretty clean. Don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. So how we open this is, first of all, we've got a little door here. This is where the figure goes in. The doors don't really open to allow you to put the figure in, so you have to put them in through the top. And uh, there is a button right here, and it's best to uh, hit this button when he's not like this, or the car is not like this, because when you hit that, everything folds out, and it keeps it from folding out. So you have to have it like that, and you push this button, and it folds out like that, which is kind of ridiculous, to tell you the truth. But that's how it works. In the back, we have a gun. Now, you can flip it this way, and the gun looks great. But you can also flip it this way, and it's backwards. So if you flip it from the top down, uh, you end up getting the guns, which is really cool. You can see those guns right there. And then we flip it around. The doors do open. It's just that they don't open the way you would expect them to. Like the windshield doesn't come down. And you've got these little guns here that pull out kind of to the side, which is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but there is some really cool um, paint work on these. These are not stickers. These are actually paint apps and uh, we've got the driver Brad Turner it says escort Kendall motor oil MT so you've got a whole bunch of branding here you've got the mask inside the door when you open it up and then the last play feature you can see this the grill right here that is a missile and it took me a while to find out where this was but there's a little button right here and if you click that it deploys the missile now I think I already have this figure. I'll check my toy room before the end of this video and see if I have him already. But I'm gonna put this over to the side there. It works really good. There's no issues with this whatsoever. 
All of the paint is nice. All of the features work. Nothing is broken. And the rubber tires are in really great shape. And I'm really happy with this purchase. So I did pick up a second uh, vehicle that I didn't have in my mask collection. And we have Firecracker here. I've been wanting this one for a while now. He's from the first series. I have all of the vehicles and the playsets and the figures except for this one. And now that I have it, I have my first series of mask things complete. This was released in 1985 and it came with Hondo McLean, which this did come with. I already have this figure, I know for sure. This is the um, the long helmet, and I'm pretty sure I have the same helmet with the one upstairs. I'm going to bring those big figures down before the end of this uh, video, and we'll compare them to see. But he's in pretty good condition. His hair is good, and no stickiness, and it's pretty clean. But this is complete, and um, some of the play features we have is well the doors do open so you can fit the figure in there Honda McLean can just fit in there and another figure we've got these lights that move up these are like freeze ray lights or something crazy like that I can't remember what they're called um, I don't have the instructions to these right now so I don't know but can see they ha do have rubber tires and the back are dually tires so that's cool and you can see here that there's a button here so there's a switch here it does come with a motorcycle and that just pulls off and uh, this doesn't do anything really it doesn't transform or anything like that it's just a motorcycle it's got a clear um, windshield there, and you've got the kickstand, holds it up. The wheels do turn, and you can fit the figure on there pretty good. Now there's this bike rack on the back, just fastens to the back of the tailgate. It works pretty well. I think the tailgate comes up and comes down, but with this on, it doesn't go down all the way so I mean it's not necessary and I don't want to pull this off and break it so this also transforms too. I think it's with this button here actually no sorry this button uh, this is like a a uh, a weapon and now it's not made out of rubber like the other wheels so it's just made out of plastic and you, I think you hit this So it must not work. So unfortunately, this uh, example doesn't shoot that out, but it's supposed to shoot this out. And then the blades here come out of the wheels. So unfortunately, that doesn't shoot up. Maybe when I transform it. So I think when I hit this button down here, it transforms. And it almost like turns into some kind of... weapon we've got the guns in the front machine guns they pull out the bumper doesn't do anything it doesn't look like and then let's see if this works and it doesn't so we might have to take this apart I'm not going to do it today but we may have to take that apart and find out why that mechanism is not launching off the wheel blades but that's really cool everything is pretty good condition the stickers look great on it it's in a really great shape just needs a little bit of a dusting and that's the firecracker I also picked up a Raphael and uh, the reason why I got him I think I've got two or three of this figure and uh, I've got a squishy head one and a hard head one. This is a hard head one. But the reason why I grabbed this guy is he has his belt. And I think all of my Raphaels are missing a belt. So um, so I've got him. He came with the weapon too or whatever. But 
that was cool. I just uh, I traded him for an old beat up Jab of the Hut, like a Kenner one, but he was old and yellow and pretty beat up. And uh, the guy wanted the Jab of the Hut, and so I traded him. I also got this carded Predator figure. And uh, let me turn my round light off here so we can see that better. There we go. Deluxe Predator Leader. I think this is the only figure from this line that I didn't have. The Predator Clan Leader with whipping dreadlocks and power boots. And this guy is super tall. He's much taller than the other figures. If we look in the back, you can see <laughs> he's at least an inch taller than the other four. So that will, uh, maybe even taller than that. So this guy will complete my Predator um, collection from this line. And if you look at the aliens above, I think I have all of those except for the crab. I'm missing the crab. And then I also have those two on the top. So I almost have all of these figures from this line. So the first thing, I'm going to start from um, good to the best out of all of this um, Starcom stuff and there's some Canadian exclusives in here too which I didn't realize until I came home and did my research on what was in the bag so this was a big bag there was one thing in there that I already had other than this crate this is the crate from the Starmax bomber and I think I already have this but if I don't that's fine because I do have the Starmax bomber but I'm missing some pieces to it mostly the the back piece that uh, extends out and I think this crate goes in it. I think I have the crate but I don't have the back of the Starmax bomber but this was in there so I you know any any little crate or anything like that is really cool so um, I'm happy to have that. The bad guys is the Shadow Force and this is the Shadow Parasite and this is great because I have the large vehicle that this goes with and this will fit on one of the wings so um, this little button here opens the canopy and then these all go in and when you hit this button it uh, deploys all that stuff now it is missing a couple doors that open up when you hit that button and it reveals a couple uh, light blue um, light blue laser cannons in there and unfortunately those are missing you usually see those missing on all of these so I don't know why uh, kids just kind of pulled those out maybe they tried to take them off because they thought that they should come off but anyway that came with it so it works and that's what's important these are sometimes not working because of the uh, mechanical mechanisms in there there's tons of um, gears in there and uh, and springs and all kinds of stuff that can get misaligned so for the most part I think a lot of these are in pretty good condition so next we have the laser rat now a cool thing about these vehicles that I'm going to show you most of them are shaped like the crates and there's little magnets on top here where they can be lifted and air dropped and all kinds of stuff and the magnets can be used for the figures because the figures have got metal in them and uh, or the figures have the magnets in them and these are metal I, I don't know which is which I think these are just metal but um, those can be lifted and deployed and then once they're deployed then they can go into transformer mode into vehicles so this one transforms by hitting, hitting that switch there and it folds out like that you can see that there's a seat there. We can put a guy there. You can put a guy standing here. A guy can stand here. We've got a gun here. We've got two guns like that. And this one is complete, but most of these do come with figures. Unfortunately, I am missing the figure for this one, but that's okay. So the next vehicle I got, this one's a little bit bigger than the other ones. This one actually carries the cargo. This is a, let me get my light back on here. This is the Harv 7, and this comes with the Staff Sergeant Champ Orion, which I don't have the figure. And this one is cool. It does work for the most part, but it is missing some things. It's missing 
the gun that looks like this here on here and there's also a gun that mounts on this turret here and this gun is missing the tip now I do have some parts and stuff for these Starcom vehicles somewhere and so I'll go through my parts list and see if I can find some but but how this works is there's a magnet on here and uh, you can pull this out like that and then this button here allows the cargo to get put back onto the flatbed of the truck and then you can tow it away that's really cool now there is something to this too this is a fuel these are fuel tanks here and so this is a gas pump of some sort and so there's a nozzle here that you can pull out if I can get that and it's got a rubber hose a little bit bigger than the GI Joe hoses but it's the same kind of idea and you can pull that out and a lot of these vehicles they have little uh, holes in certain spots there's one there where you can um, gas up your vehicles and stuff like that and then uh, put it back in and away you go so uh, this does come with a figure two and I don't have the figure either but I just think it's a cool vehicle you could you know put this crate on it or you could take this vehicle put it in crate mode and it could pick this vehicle up let's try that actually just for fun Now, of course, these vehicles are a lot heavier, so it has a harder time doing that, probably because it's just getting old and stuff like that, but there you go. And then this little latch comes up like that. As soon as you pull this down, this little piece here is released. And that's kind of like a stabilizer. Let's you deploy whatever it is. Now, these here are metal too, so the figures can stand on these and they'll stick and when you you know move it upside down or whatever they won't go anywhere you can also little spot here that you can gas this up with and there you go so really fun toys I didn't um, have these as a kid I never played with them before until now and I think because I'm such a uh, I like small figures I've always been a fan of the small figures um, I think I probably would have gravitated towards these toys quite a bit. And I love having them in my collection. So it's really cool. Just the the way the, me the mechanics work on these, I just think it's fantastic. Now, a lot of these, you'll find them in the wild that they don't work. And, well, there's a way to fix them. And maybe I'll go along with some of these and try to... Uh, get them to work a little bit better than they do now. I do have the figure for this one. There he is there. You can see how he's stuck to that metal part. And you can turn it upside down, sideways, and they won't move anywhere. There's also parts here that you can stick the figure to. And even in the seat, some of them will have metal parts that will stick the figure to. Now I have two of this figure. His name is Captain Rick Ruffing. There he is. This guy has a little bit worse paint than the other figure. So I'm going to keep him with him. Now these guys all come with or supposed to come with visors and I don't have visors for some of these. But um I do have one that has a visor so I can show you what that looks like and that's what this looks like now let's see what it looks like when you put it into crate mode all right there's crate mode there you stick him on there and then you press this button right there and that comes out 
Now you can have a figure that sits in here. You can have a figure that sits here. And uh, I find that this is, I don't understand why this is hard to get out. I don't know if I'm missing a piece. I thought this was pretty complete except for his missing his uh, visor. But I just use a little knife there and then that opens up. And this guy can stand here. He can stand here, which I don't know why you would want him to. And you can put him in here, sit him in there. I guess you could stand him here if you wanted to. And he's got a little fuel port there. Now this vehicle has six wheels. All of these wheels are rubber, so it's really nice that both of these toy lines, Mask and Starcom, have rubber tires. Now my favorite one out of all of these, it's complete with the vehicle and figure. This is Battle Crane with Sergeant Bob Anders. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's got the crate. Everything works on it. It has all of the weapons and it has the figure. And I'll show you what the figure looks like. Really small figures. No paint detail on the face really at all. But you can see the paintwork on his chest. And uh, I like how the figures are not all one color. They've got a variety of colors. Black, dark gray, blue, sky blue, yellow, dark blue, black. Even he's got a rank here on his shoulder. And another one on there too. And you can put the visor down. Now this is the vehicle. It does come with a crate. And uh, if you press this button, it allows the crate to drop. The crate does open. And you can put stuff in there like accessories, weapons, whatever. It does have some stickers on here. It says Max weight 3,000 kilograms, max capacity 240 cubic feet. So that will give you a scale reference to how big this really is intended to be. And then we've got this vehicle. Again, it uh, this um, does uh, fold up. You got to push those legs in. And there we go, we've got, see the magnet on the bottom, and then we have the vehicle in kind of a crate mode. Now, when you push this button, it releases the engines, and uh, then you can open this up, put the figure in there, and uh, that opens up the weapons, brings them out. This weapon can go in like that, or you can bring it out like that. And then, of course, we have to pull the legs back out. You can't uh, put the crate in here without pulling the legs out, because the, the crate won't fit in between the legs like they're intended to. And it becomes like a walker, and then it can come down grab the crate and so that's probably the best version of all of these that I have just because it's 100% complete these are both Canadian exclusives they were only re released in the Canadian market and I think one of these was released in the European market first one we're gonna look at is Missile Fox and like I said this is a Canadian exclusive unfortunately it is missing the missile in the front 
but there it is this is in crate mode you can see the little button here if we push that and then if you have the missile in there you press that button and it launches out we've got a couple guns here that pulls out I think there's some little springs in there and you've got a couple laser guns here you can put a figure in there and uh, you can put a figure here there's some details here on the display and uh, I guess the figure stands behind there and presses that button and deploys out a missile so that is that it's a little yellowed unfortunately but I'm not going to do anything about that I think it's just fine the way it is and since it's an exclusive you know it's uh, when are you going to see another one of these in the wild probably not very often I've been toy collecting for 23 years and this is the first time I've ever seen that uh, Starcom vehicle ever and uh, well and I've been looking for Starcom vehicles since I've known about them I've got one more Canadian exclusive here this one is complete and it's also a little yellowed but to have this in the collection right now is pretty amazing the stickers are pretty good and uh, it's complete and it works so this is the tornado gunship it's complete because like I said these ones did not come with figures you press this button and then when you push these out like that that comes up I think that's supposed to I don't think that's part of the mechanical part of this I think it just you just have to do it manually you've got the guns here you've got a figure that can go in there you've got metal in here you've got a metal spot there for them to stand and these are little jets that come out stabilizers maybe and then we also have the feet that come out so these are kinda like um, these are more like uh, like wings I guess or something like that so the last figure I got in the Starcom lot was this figure here this is Colonel Paul Crowbar Corbin and of course these figures you could also get as single carded figures and I think they had uh, carded figures that would come in two packs so this is one of those figures that you could get he did not come with a vehicle but he did come as a single carded figure so this is an extra figure that I can use which means I can put him with one of my other vehicles that are loose and he can be the driver for those vehicles that's awesome I'm gonna take a second I'll be right back and see if I have any of the mask figures with different helmets or if I have any of these Starcom figures I know I got a couple of them that are different than what I have here and I might have some that actually go with these vehicles so give me a second I'll be right back okay so I do have these uh, two figures already these mask figures here's the one that I have already this is a uh, this is Brad Turner and uh, he's got a lot of paint wear compared to this guy and I don't have his helmet either so I'm gonna keep this guy in the collection and we can uh, let this guy go to somebody else who needs this figure and then I also have Hondo McLean and uh, this guy can be sold to somebody who wants one of those figures so that's awesome I did pick up um, uh, Sector's Skulk. I, uh, if you looked at, if you watched my last haul video, I uh, ended up getting the Tarantula that somebody just gave me, and I didn't have the figure. So the figure was at the toy show, and it was super cheap. I think I got him for fifteen bucks, ten bucks, or something like that. He's in really great condition. Doesn't have any accessories, but I'm going to be sitting him on the puppet anyway and so he's gonna look awesome in the collection super excited to get him it's weird how things like that can happen where you'll get things that you haven't seen in the wild or haven't noticed and as soon as you need it 
because you want to complete something, sometimes you find it and it becomes something that you just instinctively see. And the other thing I got was another pack of this um, Garbage Pail Kids stickers. This is Topps 1988 Series 12. And I like the picture on the front of them. All of these have this picture. I ended up getting that picture. So we got Winkless Wally, Seasick Cecil. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I like this one. Tim Can. Cruisin' Susan and Slop Top Todd. Actually, I this is the third um, pack of these that I picked up, and uh, this is actually probably my favorite pack that I've picked up so far. I just like the names of them, and I like the artwork on them compared to the other two that I got from this series. So that's awesome. There's your Garbage Pail Kids stickers. And uh, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching this episode of Toys Back Zen. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what your favorite thing that I picked up here. What is my favorite thing? I don't know. I'd have to probably say the Firecracker, the Mask Firecracker, but I like all of this. This is all really cool. I have to see maybe the Firecracker, the Predator, and these Canadian exclusive Staircom ones because I've never seen them before. That's awesome. Thanks for watching and happy hunting. See you later.